got our two towers filled up yesterday from Harborough. This one has got sheep cobs in it. You can kind of see it in the window. Sheep cobs. And then this one has got sheep pellets or sheep nuts. Cobs are for feeding straight onto the ground, um, so the Texels will get the cobs and the early lambing mules are getting the cobs as well just now. Then once I get them onto their rations, they will then go on to the pellets or the nuts and that'll go through the mixer wagon so they can't pick it out as easily. There is varying opinions on this, we've obviously never done this, so some people say they can still pick out the, the wee pellets, um, not as easily as the cobs, but yeah, we'll soon find out. Was empty. So after lambs are fed, I now go around and check everyone is okay, check that they've got silage and water, give them a top up and then I will go and help feed the cows. still living her best life.
making good use of empty lifeline buckets. Handy because they have a handle and they're real sturdy. There's nothing more annoying when you fill up the buckets and a certain someone decides to eat out of the bucket. Whole feeder to eat out of and it will sample all the buckets. Lambing cows, so I'm in the tractor with two and dad's in the loader with two. So topping them up because it's been colder and um, there's been snow on the ground, we've really started to pick up and eat them again. So topping them up just now. The hour ladies, I split a bale between their two rings Friday, I think it was, in the hope that we would get the shed finished and I would get them insect, but that's not the case. So because we're still waiting on parts, um, I can't get them in yet, I can't get the shed washed. So they will need bales as well. So I'll take some bales out to them. Um, main lambing yows are about six weeks out from lambing now, um, from the first of them anyway. So just need to be on alert now because obviously the lambda 7% of it is growing in the last six weeks, so this is when you'll, not yet obviously, I mean closer to, so I normally find it's like two, ten days to two weeks out is when you start to get the usual lambing problems, um, but we'll just keep an eye on them and let's watch what the weather does because the weather obviously plays a huge factor. They will be getting their hip to back jab very shortly as well. And I think I'm going to split them into two groups then, so the first two colours and then the second two colours. Because obviously I'll be taking them in at different times. So that's the plan anyway. Hopefully get that done either later this week or next week. But we'll see how we're getting on. Um, yeah, lambs obviously need to shift again too. So I'll need to do that today. And... 
a lot mild, milder today um, than it has been. But as you can see, we've still got snow lying on the ground. It's been wet, it turned to rain sort of yesterday. And oh, what a mess. What a mess we're in again. opinions on this um, and obviously a lot comes into play I, I know that in terms of weather conditioner your yows etc but <clears throat> the main lambing yows are obviously six five six weeks minimum out um, and at the moment they are getting silage quite good quality silage and lifeline buckets now, they'll probably stay on this, again, depending what the weather does, but they'll probably stay on this till they're at least four weeks out, and then I'll introduce liquid molasses to them, again, depending on the weather. Three to four weeks if the weather's reasonable, but maybe slightly sharper if the weather turns cold and snowy again. Um, I don't introduce cobs until, last year it was two weeks out, the year before that it was three weeks out. So. And it worked quite well last year because there wasn't actually that many tucked in the first week. But obviously we know this year we're going by their keel marks. So again, depending on the weather and condition of the yows, I'll probably try and keep that to about two, three weeks out. I am hoping to get them started on their ration that they'll be on inside before they come in. Um, ideally 10, 10 days, two weeks out. Um, but again that's going to depend on the weather because feeding them etc etc so yeah it's all very comes down to the weather which is pretty much farming summed up um, but that's just what we do at the moment um, obviously this might all change with us being indoor now so it's kind of hard to it's hard to know but if anyone has any like you know top tips for indoor lambing what to do, what definitely not to do, um, anything like that, then obviously would be greatly appreciated. Just shifting the fence with Dad again for the yow lambs. So, as you can see, they're eating it up really clean, which is fine. But the frost's out the ground now, so it's back to dubby mess again. He's scaling his yows today. Thank you as always for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
I'm back inside now, beside the fighter, warming up, no way to catch up on the rugby. We'll see you for the next one.